What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. Black men have power, but not networks. See, shout out to the breakdown of a woman's perspectives. Concrete Rose, Sister George. Went live about um, being concerned about that punani or power. And the thing about it is, and we've talked, people have talked about power for a long time. I think it's a misconception because we have power, we have influence, which is power. We have the ability to do things, which is power. But what we don't have is networks. Every other group has networks. And I think we don't necessarily look at America in its proper context when it comes to us getting quote unquote power because every breakdown that has affected the black community has been on an economic in sense, but more, more importantly, a networking sense. Uh, black Wall Street was, was, was creating networks, okay? Infiltrating HBCUs that was creating networks. Redlining and, and the um, and block busting, you know, you, and, and running the, the, the freeway through black businesses, that was killing the networks. Um, the assassinations in, in the civil rights movement, the civil rights movement, that was busting up the next networks of, you know, SNCC, uh, SCLC, um, the Panthers, uh, the Nation. Nation didn't get completely broken up, but, you know, you tried to break up them coming together because that's what was happening. You know, people forget that the gangs... The gangs went from being on the community's side to against the community because they started actually networking with each other. So then the drugs part came in. And we don't think about it, but um, when you're looking at well, what are these other communities doing that we're not doing, they're networking. And the government isn't, isn't bringing the hammer down on their networks. You, you, don't, you don't see any governmental interference with um, Asians in Chinatown. You don't see governmental interference with Little Havana you, or, or the, the Hispanic business community. You don't see that. Even when when they know there's a certain drug um, under, underground tied to all this stuff, you don't see them breaking up their networks of food, of, 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 of beverage, which creates money of, of products, which I should say more importantly. You don't see them creating, destroying their product network or being able to make products and place products and sell products. Thus, you know, when people are talking about um, beauty supply stores and how they did black beauty supplies, the Asian people were breaking up the networks. Um, when you got black business people who you know, used to go to warehouses and wholesalers and they would try to overcharge them. That's because they didn't want them to have a network. You know what I'm saying? Because other people could, could buy in bulk. You know, this business hooks up with this business. But no, no, no. You want to make sure these businesses never these businesses never hooked up in the first place. So you 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 single them out individually, but you to make sure they can collectively can't work together. So when people think we don't have power, that's not the case. You know, that's part of the, um, even the black men, black women's issue is sisters create networks. And that's a good thing. But they also make sure they destroy the sons and men to create networks using the same government. So there's a bit of a rift because... You know, it's like you got to pay off the government and you got to pay off the sisters and then and then you got to repay off the government, and repay off the sisters to maintain a certain uh, the ability to create a network. And then the other thing about that is. We got, a lot, you know, William O'Neill's and our Wild Bill's, you know, if you've seen Judas and the Messiah, you know what I'm talking about. But you've got Judas's in the camp who don't who also don't want us to have networks because they don't want to, they, they like operating as rogue individuals. So they like being rogue. So guess what? Uh, I like this quote unquote freedom to do whatever I want to do. 
And I thought about that because of Fargo, um, the, the fourth season with Chris Rock, where the Italian at the end was like, look, we got, you know, you just one man in one city. We're in all these cities. So they're all connected. And, but at the same time, even with them, the government allowed that connection. Thus, even the same thing that's going on with the, um, the Capitol hearings, with um, the, the quote-unquote talks about domestic terrorism and white supremacy. The government let these domestic terrorists network and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. They do that all the time. So, in my opinion, we don't have a problem with power because we're probably the most influential people on the planet because they keep using us to, to, as, as their as a platform for using using that power to get the government to fund and 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 their networks or the government to to not interfere with them creating networks. So I think we don't think about it that way because you know feminism has a network. I immigrants have a network. Um, um, other non Asians have a network. You know. Whites have a network, this, that, and the third. But what, we, what we've been shut out of, even with the reparations talk, I think ultimately the United States is trying to make sure that we have, we are so far gone from being able to create networks of our own that if they ever gave us reparations, we'll give it right back to them because they've got all the networks online. So that's just my thoughts. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and peace.